Hello everyone, this is my 12th video on sport diagnosis. Today you will learn about a another rare condition. So both the siblings admitted multiple times in our pediatric department for the complaint of cough and cold and fever and every time they are having the respiratory infections and both are having the characteristic classical features of the disease. So in this image you can see this male child is having the skew deviation and now in this video you can see also having the nystagmus and oculomotor apraxia of horizontal gauge means when fixing to the object having the overshooting and in this video you can see the child is having wide based ataxic gait or cerebellar gait in this image you can see in eyes having the because of the dilated blood vessel this characteristic laryngectasia is present so on the basis of nystagmus skew deviation of the eyes oculomotor apraxia of horizontal gait laryngectasia ataxic gait and frequent infection what will be the clinical diagnosis so the clinical diagnosis on the basis of ataxic gait and nystagmus oculomotor apraxia of the horizontal gauge telangiectasia and frequent respiratory infection clinical diagnosis is ataxia telangiectasia so in brief about the ataxia telangiectasia it is a chronic cerebellar degenerative disorder it is also known as lewis barr syndrome it is the most common cause of the degenerative ataxia autosomal recessive Mutation of the gene known as ATM, AT mutated, that has been mapped to the long arm of the chromosome 11. So, in characteristic features, ataxia will become the apparent by the age of 2 years and it will progress to the loss of ambulation by the adolescent period. In oculomotor apraxia of horizontal gauge, when we will tell the child to fix the gauge over a target child will have the difficulty in shifting the gauge from one object to the other object so you will find child will overshooting the target with the adjustment of the lateral movement of the head occur so child will try to refixate the eyes and during this period you will find child is having the squint and nystagmus movement and about the telangiectasia, these are the reddish lesion of the skin and the mucous membrane because of the permanent widening of group of blood vessels. It developed by the mid childhood. So in early childhood, child will not have the manifestation of the telangiectasia and it appear on the sun exposed area of the skin over the bridge of the nose, ears, extremities as well as mucous membrane of the eyes, conjunctiva will be affected. They are also having the impaired immune function. So cellular and humoral IgA immunodeficiency will be there. That's why they are having the increased susceptibility to the respiratory infection, both upper and lower. Sinopulmonary infections are common. They are also having the risk of developing the lymphoreticular malignancy. Almost 100 fold increased risk of the malignancy, lymphoma, leukemia, brain tumor can develop in later elevated alpha fetoprotein level will be there and in mri brain cerebellar atrophy will be the finding these are the sum of the mcqs on this topic so most common cause of the degenerative ataxia is ataxia telangiectasia mutation of which gene occur in at atm gene on the long arm of chromosome 11 such uh, history part can be given in the MCQ. Five years old child presented with the frequent respiratory infection at toxic gait with oculomotor apraxia of horizontal gait. So what will be the diagnosis? AT. So this is all about the ataxia telangiectasia. Thank you so much.